Time for In the Mayor's Chair, City of Morden edition. Of course, you're watching on PemdaValleyOnline.com and listening on CFAM Radio 950. And Ken, uh, there's going to be some folks looking in the background thinking, wait a second, this this is a bit of a different motif, not the uh, Civic Center we're used to. Where are we today? Uh, we're in the previous Civic Center. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're at the Pemina Thresherman's Museum uh, this this week. Uh, they are uh, they are celebrating uh, 50 years, and it's only due to the hard work of uh, of uh, volunteers and uh, people that had a, had an appreciation for history and and where uh, agriculture came from that uh, this place exists. Uh, They've added to it over the many years. They've collected buildings. Uh, they've collected artifacts. And I think they've absolutely done an amazing job. And we've had a board of directors, a constant board of directors, uh, even though they've changed. They've always had a vision. They've always had dedication. And they've always happened to hire themselves just exactly the right directors uh, to uh, to look after things. And each director has added to uh, their dream and, and helped it grow. And uh, so those folks that haven't been here for a while, I would strongly encourage them to uh, come and have a look at the uh, at the Pemina Thresherman's Museum of uh, 2018. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Corn and Apple Festival. Ken, you and I, we know it's fun, we know it's free, and it's coming up. And it's all about family. <laughs> you forgot that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up 52 years. Uh, you know, most festivals of this type, uh, they, uh, they build them and they make them work, and after about 35 years or so, they tend to die off. Uh, again, it's it's the dedication of volunteers, and, and I can never say enough about the volunteers in the city of Morden. It's it's only because of them that this festival continues to be successful, uh, and it, it it's the thousands of hours on on the part of hundreds of volunteers that makes this thing work. And and uh, like you know, there's there's one paid staff person there that's on occasionally throughout the year, and the rest of it is all volunteer work, and it's just an awful lot of volunteer work. Having been there myself, and and still volunteering on, on, on the festival committee. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, for particularly I would encourage newcomers to the city of Morden to, to get involved. It's a great way to meet a whole lot of different people, and it's a great way to, as we do here at the Threshman's Museum, to celebrate our culture and our heritage. And we did want to make one note, and that's that uh, the parade route, the West End at least, is a little bit different this year. It is. Uh, due to uh, some of the parade uh, uh, entrance, uh, the corner uh, heading north at, uh, at the Brick is, uh, has become uh, a concern. And uh, as such, the parade will continue directly west from there on North Railway Street. So uh, if you're getting your set up, yourself set up early, uh, just note that that change uh, is going to happen this year. And it'll all be marked as usual. Let's talk a little bit about uh, summer construction. Uh, you know, obviously there is some going around the city of Morden right now, Ken. And we wanted to just alert folks that uh, let's just relax a bit. The delays aren't as bad as you think they may be. Uh, no, uh, we have a lot of construction going on. We have sidewalk repairs, curb repairs, uh, drain and gutter repairs, uh, and a lot of things going on, and a whole bunch of different sites. And in some cases, you may get delayed to 30 seconds as opposed to the 30-minute downtown Winnipeg delay. So just be a little bit patient, and uh, you will get around. But uh, like, like we said, just be careful when you're driving past these construction crews. Uh, some of these guys get pretty involved in their heads, and uh, they they may step out of an area that's safe into an area that's not so safe. So uh, be careful, drive slow, and uh, we'll all uh, live to see the sunset. Yeah, absolutely. Ken Weeb, of course, Mayor City of Morden, joining us today at Pemina Thresherman's Museum. That's where we are in the background right now for In the Mayor's Chair, City of Morden Edition. Now, if you missed a portion of the conversation, that's okay. Have a listen anytime on the CFAM blog. And, of course, watch the video now on PeminaValleyOnline.com.